What's up, cats? Welcome back to Wild Grant TV. I'm Rory. And I'm Darren. And today's episode is going to start with a banger. So let's kick this episode off with some summer highlights. Who do I have with me today? I'm Luke. I'm Ridley. Brady. Uh, Christopher Chipola. Ethan Roberts. Kate. And Sydney. Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Rohit. Such it. Aaron Davis. Uh, you got Max Castagnola, the one and only. All right, now what'd you guys do this summer? What's some summer highlights? I went to North Carolina with some family and went wakeboarding. Basketball. Basketball. I went camping with my friends. Playing lacrosse with all my buddies. That's awesome sauce. Uh, camping. Uh, traveling. I went to Vegas. Climbed Glacier Peak. I was a counselor at a summer camp. A counselor at a summer camp? Did you get paid? It was volunteer. Um, I went and I visited the trade school that I'm going to once I graduate here. Ooh, what is it? Uh, it's Western Welding Academy. My start date is June 30th. Oh, that is hype! Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I went fishing and uh, played a lot of football. Did you catch any fish? Oh, I caught some hogs, man. I was out there every day on the lake slaying them. So, like, did you eat them? Nah, I put them back. I'm a catch and release fisherman. Hey, that's respect. Thank you. Fishing must have been real fun. Now let's reel you in for some club highlights with Adam. I'm Jordan. I'm Cole Agrawal, and I'm in DECA Club. And I work at the DECA store for advanced marketing. DECA is about pursuing like marketing and business, and it kind of gets you in like the environment you need to be for your like future career. So, um, for example, when you go to the DECA meeting, which is down in Bellevue, you're able to talk to like other people who are like proficient in their areas. You get to talk to business owners, CEOs, pro marketers, all of the above. Yeah, it's just like kind of getting around the business environment before you graduate and preparing yourself. DECA has helped me learn a lot of what it's like to work an actual job, especially working in the store. It kind of shows like what it's like to work at like maybe like Starbucks, kind of, kind of comparable. And it also helps with like people skills because you know you have a team and you got to work with them, you got to divide jobs. So it's very helpful for like, I'd say so far, very helpful for like jobs. At the DECA store, personally, I've been running Register. I'm going to do other things such as Espresso, Runner. We work in the back as well. It's a, it's a good collective with your teammates. It takes about eight of us. It's a fun like community, like team building thing to run the store. For me personally, register is really fun because I get to interact with the people, the customers, and it's just like a, it's really good for like teamwork and it takes all four of us to run the store effectively and then the people in the back as well. So I think it's, it's really great. The community is actually pretty awesome. I was pretty surprised at how nice everyone is. Everyone is very like, just like super open. Everyone really wants everyone to join. Like it's, it's pretty open and it's kind of awesome. Like everyone, everyone seems to have fun. It's just, it just seems like a very nice environment. I enjoy DECA because like, it challenges me just enough for me to like, see what I'm capable of and help me overcome adversity. And um, you know, it's all, it's all positives at DECA, honestly. I think like, if you join it, you're only gonna gain from it. This one is for the new freshman on the block. Enjoy as the seniors answer the freshmen's questions. My name's Noelle Shanley, and I am a senior. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm a senior here at Mount Si. How can we find our classes in Zoom? That's a good question. Just, like, go around, go, just, pra just get better. Practice going to your class, like, maybe during lunch or something. I don't know, you pick it up pretty quickly. Well, we're on our third week now, so I hope you've found your classes by now. But the classes are, um, there's five, seven different buildings. Uh, so you have to find your building number. And then the second number is what floor it's on. So 100s, 200s, 300s. How do you plan for your future? I don't. I cross my fingers and I hope it all works out. Oh, uh, what, what are the SATs like? Those are good questions. Back to them. You got to at least know trigonometry if you want to like get really high scores on the math portion. And then the reading, you got to obey their standards, but also have really good comprehension. What's the best sport to play at Mount Si? I think I know the answer. I'm biased because I really like flag football, so t do with that what you will. Does it get easier from here? No. <laughs> Depends on what you consider easier. Sometimes, in like some ways, yeah, but in other ways, uh-uh. And do we eventually learn the routes to our classes? 
Yeah, you, you pick them up like pretty quickly when going from class to class. So it just kind of becomes like muscle memory almost. Hey Rory, what is something you dislike about Mount Sai? Well, it's probably the crowded hallways. It just makes it a pain to get to my next class. Well, you're in luck, because next up is hallway etiquette. Hey cats, today we're talking about hallway etiquette. Make sure you guys aren't standing around in the hallway to ensure people can get to their classes or where they need to be. While trying to get to your classes, try to keep walking at a steady pace so that people behind you don't have to slow down or stop. For the stairs, the right side is for going up and the left side is for going down and the middle is for whatever the flow of traffic is. Have, have a, a great, great weekend, weekend, cats. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode of Wildcat TV. And keep making those hashtag Wildcat, Wildcat Moments 2025. 2025. Yeah!